All right, guys. Ready for video two. Hold on, I forgot to grab my cigarette. Alright guys, ready for video 2. Technically 13. The unlucky number video. Oh, I don't know if you heard that I farted. Anyway. Uh, here we go. This is another, this is like the most random VHS's. Followed by some Disney and stuff like that. Not all of it's Disney. Actually, not very much of it's actually Disney. Well, never mind. Anyway. Okay, so here we have a... I, I don't know where I got this from. Shadow Chasers, Phantoms, and Goodwill Hunting on a fucking... Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know why I showed you that. Uh, oh, there's another one of these. Jeepers Creepers and Super Troopers. You can tell I don't care about those ones at all. <laughs> Here's one I've never actually checked out yet. I should, though, just because of the title. I'm going to assume it's pornography, though. Uh, Beautiful Girls of Europe, Volume 1. Funny story behind that was when I picked up the crawl on that lawn, that was sitting there, too. I didn't pick that up, but I grabbed the crawl, and I looked at the rest of the movies, and there's a couple of them here, actually. These two came with it, too. Um... The Devil Zone in a white case. And Skulls 2. Okay, so I got all those uh, all at the same time. And she grabs this Beautiful Girls of Europe movie and says, well, take this. And I said, it, and it, oh, she also had a bodybuilding movie or something. She goes, here, take this. So I don't want that. And she goes, you look like you could use it. I was like, yeah, that's a way to fucking give people your shit. Just insult them. And then she hands me Beautiful Girls of Europe, and she goes, you should probably take this, too. <laughs> I was like, holy fuck. I was just getting ridiculed. Like, I mean, she just called me fat and ugly, man. Next thing I, you know, she'd have a movie where, what, the movie Big, so I could maybe grow a little bit. Like, holy fuck, man. I was like, wow. But I took all of it home, because I, I don't know. I, she put it in my hands, and I lived just down the street. So I took it all home and threw most of it in the garbage and just kept what I thought was fucking interesting or funny. Anyway, uh, next up, this is kind of a bummer. Lion King without the case. Straight Sharks. Shark and Roll. I don't know. Kind of a knockoff Ninja Turtles. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, oh, this is awesome. This is the first movie I ever owned. And, uh... Man, like the f I got this when I was like three or something, man. Does it say the year? Uh, 1989. So yeah, it would have been exactly three years old, yeah. And uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Case of the Killer Pizzas. I wish I had the cover. The cover was awesome. And the last one without a case is Aladdin. Okay, so now I've got the ones with cases. <laughs> Sorry about all those non-case ones. So first up, we got... The Great Performances of Elvis Center Stage. What the fuck? Whoa, I didn't know it did that. Cool. <laughs> that is kind of neat. What the fuck? I've never actually looked at this. <laughs> Whoa, I did not see that coming, man. That was cool. Well, anyway, there you go. Elvis Center Stage. I don't know. I've never popped it in yet. I just grabbed it because it was at the thrift store. Most, actually, I got all these at the thrift store. Um, the Rugrats Thanksgiving. This is cool. Uh, cartoon Explosion. A lot of Popeye. Just a shit ton of Popeye. Never popped that in yet either, but I bet it's amazing. <laughs> Here's a fucking group of films that only the youngest of people that I think 80s and 90s people remember this. And I picked these up because at my school, to get kids in shape, they would, they would do this. I was really young. And uh, we got Richard Simmons, Sweatin' to the Oldies, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. I noticed Volume 2 is the only one that the packings rip, uh, the package is taken off of. The other two are, are uh, 
packaged. I think that somebody bought all these thinking I'm going to get in shape. Played one, thought, wow, Richard Simmons is gay, and then just turned it off. <laughs> uh, that's my guess. I am in Redneck, Alberta. So whoever bought that, it was probably somebody's husband that took those to the thrift store. I just fucking think it's hilarious because I look at that and I'm just like, I remember that shit. Okay, here's um, a, a Hanna-Barbera Adams Family cartoon in like pretty well perfect condition. That's pretty cool. Um, I've got uh, the mask and I, it's, it's fucking, I, the two uh, cartoon masks, not the original, but I do have the mask cartoon and I remember this when I was a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, that came out when I was probably like 12 and uh, yeah. I liked it. Um, so then we're getting into the Disney. I got The Little Mermaid. Uh, this is not the original release, which is kind of a bummer. This is a re-release. Um, but whatever. With that, the original cover art was too risque. Got the original release of Aladdin, but it's a kind of fucked up cover. Um, but I watched it not that long ago. I got the Aristocats. Again, kind of a fucked up cover. It, it was hard. I remember kids always would just crush the shit out of these fucking things all the time. Uh, Bambi. Never really been a big fan of Bambi. Uh, this, I, this sucked. Beauty and the Beast, the crisp. Yeah, he gives a shit. Grabbed it, but, um. Fantasia 2000. Never seen it. I don't know if it's different from the original, if it's a re-release, or what it is. I've never seen the original, so... Um, the Fox and the Hound, Corey Feldman, is the dog or something, or the fox, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know, but Fox and the Hound. Um, Mickey's Once Upon, or Twice Upon a Christmas. Uh, oh god, this looks fucking terrible. Oh god, this looks bad. This looks 3D. Oof. That does not look good. <laughs> anyway, uh... Okay, then I got uh, Mulan, and that. Oh, then I got. Then I got uh, Oliver and Company, uh, and I got Toy Story. So those are my Disney ones. Then I've got a couple other, just you know, same kind of looking, uh, what are they, clamshell cases. I got Ice Age, which first time I. Ever like fingered a chick <laughs> during Ice Age? <laughs> what a weird! I was just scrap getting his nut, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got Far From Home. Uh, I I remember this not being like interesting when I was a kid, but I feel like as an adult I would enjoy this more. Uh, Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. I seen this once when I was super little. I don't remember it. Remember a lot of kids telling me they were scared of the smog monster or something. Uh, this one I got Casper. And me and my brother and my friend watched this the other day. And uh, and uh, Casper, when he's making breakfast for Christina Ricci, who I have a huge crush on, man. But uh, Casper's like... Uh, Casper's like making eggs and shit. And he's like... He's like, check out my fucking breakfast skills, man. Yeah, I think he was really trying to get in her pants. That would be too if I was a ghost. Uh, Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Okay, I didn't know it was in Paris, the movie. Is there a difference between the movie and the... I don't know. Uh, then we got Babe. I watched this the other day, just to see why it was such a big deal back in the day. It even says the Citizen Kane of talking pig pictures on the back. And I remember when this came out, it was a huge fucking deal, and everyone made such a huge ordeal over it. And I watch it now, and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> like... Wow. We watched it, me and my brother, and we were just like, holy shit, man. What the fuck is this? Okay, and then last up, I got my last four VHS tapes, guys. We've got How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. The Iron Giant, which I've never watched. Um, Space Jam, which I always thought was overrated, but a lot of my friends like it, and my brother likes it, so I grabbed it, whatever. And this is one that I've been told I really gotta watch. And I'm sure all of you is gonna, are gonna be like, what, you've never seen this? But, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. 
I've never watched it. Never watched it once. Anyway, that's the end of my VHS tapes, guys. Now we're going to move on to the next shelf.